Spring has always given me a boost of energy, strength, motivation to start new beginnings and simply just a will to live, no matter of circumstances around me. Unfortunately, spring here is not so prominent. It is usually pretty cold, whole three months, and then suddenly it's summer. This time I managed to capture some more glimpses of spring and the blooming of flowers and spring thunderstorms and cozy walks and lush greenery and in the warm feeling that everything will be better from now on. And I know that I have this feeling almost every spring, though now it's a bit different. Instead of a joyful excitement, it's more of a calm confidence that finally all the pieces of a puzzle will come together and I dare to hope that my life will become happier and more meaningful. And with this I am approaching the topic I've chosen for this video, which is mindful living. The definition of mindful living is rather a complex one, but here is a really capacious quote I've read on the website called declutterthemind.com. I will leave the link to this article in the description of the video. Mindful living is about living with awareness in the present moment. The mindful living meaning involves taking care of your actions, words and feelings to ensure that you live a good and present life. It's about not letting life pass you by while living in reactions and in your head. It's about stepping outside into the world to be a good human who practices virtue and who lives in accordance to his or her nature. As soon as I started to practice yoga in my teenage years, when I was around 12 or 13 years, I discovered the world of mindful existence as in yoga mindfulness plays a huge role. Of course, back then I was too young, too restless and too ambitious for practicing all of this. After that, there were years of studying which also weren't quite suitable for the mindful way of living. And now I feel like I finally can live calmer and slower. At least it is what my mind and body are asking me to do. I always was that person who is living in the future and also a very nostalgic about the past, but never in the present. For some reason, it is an extremely difficult thing for me to do. I am too afraid to be in the present moment because very often I have a perfect picture of how it should be, and usually it is kind of expectation versus reality situation. The reality usually doesn't match with the perfect picture I have in my head. So the coping mechanism for me, it is to not be in the present moment, but rather to live in the fantasies about the future. And as you can tell, it's not a very healthy state of mind. Right now, I'm really trying to live in the now and to enjoy the very small moments of my existence no matter how small and unimportant they are. And let me tell you, it is not an easy task. So this is what I'm striving for. This is what I want to become. A mindful being, living in the present and enjoying simple everyday moments and maybe even someday achieving the state of being called ataraxia. When I studied at the university, I had a philosophy course and I remember the lesson when we started studying Epicurus and his school Epicureanism and I remember it instantly resonated with me. I want to be happy right now, not somewhere in a distant future and to be grateful for what I am and what I have in my life right now. I also want to achieve that state of mind in which I wouldn't have the fear of inevitable death or aging or diseases which might come or not with aging. It is all part of life. The only certain thing in life is death, and we all know about this, 
But if we will think about this on a daily basis, we probably wouldn't do anything in life, because why bother if we are all going to die? And everything is futile. But if it was the case, all humanity would very soon degrade or would never even achieve anything. The great discoveries would not be done, great inventions would not be made. We wouldn't have all these unbelievable technologies and we wouldn't be able to travel through space. So even though our life will going to end one day, it has a purpose. And we are the ones who should be responsible for this. I know this talk turned out to be a bit somber for some people, but in reality it shouldn't be, as death is just a part of life. I'm not sure how to sum up this video and do not leave you with a sad aftertaste. That wasn't my intent. On the contrary, I wanted to remind myself, and maybe even you, to live right now. Not waiting for the bright future. Not crying for the irrevocably gone past. But be right at this moment. Because all we have is now. Between the time when I started this video and now when I'm finishing it, a few weeks have passed, so this is basically just a spontaneous addition. And this few weeks I had a series of unpleasant events, which kind of shattered everything I was saying above. On the other hand, it is easy to be positive when everything is good, but it is extremely challenging to stay mindful and positive if everything around you is falling apart. So I decided to view this as a good exercising machine and to really work towards positivity and kindness even if the world around me is not so kind to me. Hopefully in some of the new videos I will be able to tell you about the results of this experiment. And in the meantime, I'm signing off and going to enjoy my simple, boring, everyday chores.